In this special topic, we are going to see how we can write to a flat file using C++. The code constructs to be used for this demo are array, output stream, a for loop, and exception handling. Let's proceed to the demo. For creating this demo, I have used Visual Studio and I created a simple C++ program that writes to the text file the contents of an array. So the first step is to include the proper libraries, that is IOStream, String and FStream, and I'm using the namespace std. Now in my main method, that is main, I start the program by defining my array of strings. So I'm creating this array, I called it vehicle list, it has 10 elements, and I initialize its values with this way. So I include value 0, value 1, and so on until value 9. Then I'm getting the array size uh, using code in order to make this code as dynamic as possible. And then within an exception handling code block, that is try catch set of statements, I perform the file operation. So the main code of the program goes into the try code block where I'm opening the file for writing using the OF stream along with specifying the file name that is scenedemos c++ samplefile.txt and I specify that this file is created for writing. So now the next step is to check if file was successfully opened for writing and if the file is open then I iterate through the contents of the array and I write each line into the file along with adding a new line character. If there is a problem and the file is not open, I print on screen that there is uh, something wrong. Also, if there is a runtime error, then my catch code block will take place and display the error message on screen. After all this is completed, I also print some informational messages for the user. So let's rebuild our solution. Now let's check if there is a file in the scene demos directory. You can see that there is not such file. So we are ready to run our program. And you can see that writing was completed. And let's double check by checking out the directory again. So now in the scene demos directory, you can see that there is a file called C++ sample file. Let's open it to check its contents. And yes, you can see that it contains exactly the same content as the content we included in the array. So in this simple demo, we managed to create an array of strings and then export the contents of this array into a text file on the file system. In the next special topic, we're going to read this file and do exactly the opposite. That is, by reading the file, then store its contents back into an array of strings.